<laughs> so from drawings of lion's eyes to actual lion's eyes, albeit somewhat sleepy ones, look at this lovely surprise that Cheetah Plains has had to offer us. One slumbering lioness and two gorgeous suckling cubs. So we're sitting with one of the Styx females. Now for those of you that are new to these live safaris, this is probably the lion pride that we see second most often, if that makes any sense, um, in terms of which lions we get to interact with and which lions we see. Their territory borders that of the famous Inkuhuma pride. And at the moment, of course, they have these two little bundles of joy who are currently suckling away. And we're a little bit earlier suckling particularly noisily arguing and scrapping over who got access to which nipple. They seem to have settled down now. You can see mom is snoozing away with a relatively contented look on her face. I'm not sure where her other two pride members are. There are three females in the Styx pride. And there were, at one point, eight cubs. All eight of them, unfortunately, didn't make it. They were struck down by a really terrible case of mange and then these two little ones came along and unfortunately it does look as though they're struggling in the same way. Uh, we've seen mange spread throughout our cats like wildfire or throughout the, the lions like wildfire. It went started with the sticks and then moved from the sticks to the Inkuhumas, probably via the Birmingham boys just because they are the common denominator, although we will never know for absolute certain. It seems as though the Inkuhumas, in complete contrast to the sticks, they seem to be okay. They seem to be recovering nicely. And hopefully with all of the rain that we've had, it will help these two recover as well. And hopefully they will manage to survive where their siblings and cousins did not. Um, it is a difficult one, and obviously it's something where it tugs at the heartstrings to see the poor little things all scabby as they are. You can see it all along the outside of their ears as well. And the tips of their tails and their elbows. They definitely don't look nearly as bad as the six cubs before them. There was a stage when those poor little six cubs before they died looked absolutely terrible. They were basically bald. But luckily these little ones are okay. Now it's a difficult one and I'm sure many of you are questioning, those of you that are new to these live safaris, questioning why it is that we don't intervene and treat them. And it is a policy of non-intervention as we discussed with the elephant and the, the fact that elephants with infected tusks might not get treated. But unless it is caused by human beings, which this has not been, this was a direct result of the extreme drought that we experienced. Oh look, you can see the little thing suckling. So cute. Unfortunately, it does mean that we don't intervene in situations like this. We allow Mother Nature to take her course, as she has done. And you can get a really good idea, because we've seen it now with both the Styx and the Inkuhuma cubs. Get, you can have a really good idea about the kind of benefits that it can have for the genetic population as a whole. Because the Styx obviously haven't recovered as well as the Inkuhumas. And you can see she's also got touches of mange still around her face and around her chest. And it just goes to show that certain lion prides have a certain genetic strength or resilience against something like mange. So the fact that the Styx cubs died of mange but the Inkuhumas haven't means that in future the genetics of the lions of this area will pass on the strongest possible resistance to something like mange in the future. But I'm really rooting for these two little ones. I really hope they, ma they make it. I'm hoping that with all of the rain that we've had the food quality will be better. They'll just be that little bit healthier. And apparently, Hi Moon, you say that you think that the sticks look a little better than the last time you saw them. And certainly the sticks have always been sort of, compared to the Inkohumas, the sticks have always been sort of a bit raggedy, a bit rough around the edges, but I happen to agree with you. I certainly think she looks better. The adult female looks better. I can't comment on the cubs because I haven't seen them in a considerable period of time. But I think you're right. I think that the, the adults look a lot better. Sorry, just waving hello to Ephraim. Yes, girl, we're talking about you, you beautiful thing. You definitely look better. Not nearly as scruffy. I haven't seen, obviously, I haven't seen the older two lionesses either, but I think perhaps James can comment as well, because I know he's seen them in the not-too-distant past. Oh, look. Breakfast. 
can see the little suckling movement. Now, Michael, you say it might be you, but that you <laughs> hop, skip, jump. You're going, little girl.